Hey, what is up guys? FZM here. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is ready for its third matchup. So how's it going to compete against Huawei's P-Range flagship smartphone from 2017? Well, we're going to find out. It's time for a speed test between the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 versus the Huawei P10 Plus. So, both smartphones have 6 gigs of RAM. This will be very interesting. Right, let's get straight down to it. Time to begin. I'm going to boot up both devices at the same time. Let's go. Wow, a near identical boot up time. Very interesting. I'll let you guys be the judge of that one. And it goes without saying, extremely quick boot up times on both the Note 8 and P10 Plus. Nice. Next up, let's check out the speed of the apps. Let's go. Okay, let's begin with the first app, Play Store. And we'll give that to the Note 8. Okay, let's go to YouTube. And again, the Note 8 takes that one. Instagram. So the main feed came up a bit quicker on the Note 8 and they both refreshed about the same time. And that's a powerful quote, very nice. Okay, next up, let's go to the camera. About the same, possibly the P10 Plus came out a little bit quicker, I'll let you guys decide. Okay, let's continue to the first game. Let's go to Temple Run 2. And they're loading about the same time. Looks to me as though the Note 8 could just be a fraction ahead, I believe it is, and yeah. So nothing in it on the first game. So let's just keep the app in memory and go on to Subway Surf. And with this app, we can see the Note 8 coming out quicker. And tap to play, and yeah, a lot quicker for the Note 8 on Subway Surfers. Okay, let's continue. Angry Birds 2. Looks like the Note 8 again is edging out in front, logging in a bit quicker, and let's see if it gets to the main game itself. Yes, it does. So, the Note 8 showing some faster speeds on a few of these apps that we've tested. So, I'll just get the game warmed up a little bit. Always good to come back for the RAM management test. Right, let's go back to the home screen. Next app, Mario Run. So once again, the loading screen has come up a lot quicker and we're already ready to play. Whereas on the P10 Plus, we're lagging behind. Okay, next app. Let's go into 8-Ball Pool. And the Note 8 once again. Next app, let's go into Asphalt 8. So the main screen just came up a little bit quicker on the P10 Plus, but who can load up the main game? The Note 8 can. Okay, so not much between them on that app in particular. Right, let's move off Asphalt 8 and go into the next app, which is Mixer. And we can see the elements being loaded up a little bit faster on the P10 Plus, but then again, the Note 8 just caught up, so I'll let you guys decide. We'll go into Twitch. A little bit quicker on the P10 Plus. Okay, let's go into Netflix. Both loading and exactly the same. Okay, next up is Shazam. And a little bit faster on the P10 Plus. And boomerang let's just take a quick pick keep it on memory a little bit faster reactions as you guys saw on the note 8 and let's finally go into the google folder into play movies and the note 8 comfortably takes that one okay right the next round is a multitasking or ram management test to see how well the apps have been held on the memory of both devices so we've got six gigs of ram on both phones let's start it off with mario run and we're ready to play. Let's move on to Subway Surfers and again, ready to resume. Let's check out the next app, which is YouTube. And a refresh surprisingly on the Note 8, first time I've seen it. It's been fantastic before for the camera. It's just gonna refresh again because it's the camera app, which is no surprises. 
Let's go into Temple Run 2 and we can resume. So let's just go off Temple Run and go into Angry Birds 2. Let's see if it's held. Fantastic, both phones ready to play. Next app into Google folder to play movies and that's held as well. Going into 8 ball pool, also ready to play. Fantastic. And Asphalt 8, normally a bit tricky on some phones, but no. The Note 8 and P10 Plus showing you how well the RAM is utilized. Let's move off Asphalt 8 again and go into Mixer. So we're ready to continue. Twitch is held. Netflix held. Shazam held. Android Pay, that's held as well. So six gigs of RAM being used fantastically by both phones. Boomerang, the initial picture, is also on memory. And let's end the multitasking with Play Store, which is also held on memory. So a clean sweep apart from YouTube for the Note 8. So I'm just gonna close it all down and go on to the next round. On to the fingerprint sensors. So the fingerprint speed test in three, two, one, go. And one more time. I'll do a final reboot test, let's see which is the fastest on a full cycle. And three, two, one, go! So, let me hear your thoughts on this matchup, Huawei versus Samsung once again. I feel the rivalry is going to intensify over the course of the year since both manufacturers are going to take it to the next level. We've got the Galaxy S9 around the corner and the next generation P range from Huawei. What a year it's going to be. So whose team are you on? Team Samsung or Team Huawei? So that rounds up this speed test but there's many more on the way because I'll be doing my best to upload on a regular basis from now on so expect to see plenty more performance tests. It's going to be damn good, I hope to see you all there. This community and channel is growing so let's keep it going. Smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and as always guys hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload and i'll catch you guys all on the next one